Here we are at the ABA Auckland, New Zealand. Peach Boxing presents the Fighting Irish. Isaac Savage here at Glad Rap Channel with the NZ PBA Super Welterweight Champ, Shay, Mr. Business Brock. Welcome here tonight. Thanks, Isaac. Always a pleasure to be here. And what a night of fight we've had so far, and it's only going to go up from here, so. Well, like we said, they've ordered a few kegs of Guinness, they've already been drunken. The crowd are on their feet. It's absolutely bursting at the seams. And now we've got Simon Donnelly, who's the brother of main event Brian Donnelly. He's flying all the way over from Sydney to fight here tonight in Auckland, New Zealand. It's awesome to see the dedication that these guys go through to, you know, to um, make it here to the fight night, you know, to fight tonight. We are coming in from Melbourne, coming in all, all over the place. And we are talking about nicknames earlier. We've had the Lion Tamer, we've had the Geezer. Now we've got the Don, a little bit more... Uh, Italian less, Mafia. Exactly. Hey, and he, he could be. You never know if he's Irish. But we've got the Don in the red. Now coming out of the blue corner, Mr. Mark Charlesworth from Manchester, England. So this is going to be a classic... English versus Irish matchup. Obviously, the Irish has got the support tonight, and Mark Charlesworth is going to have a bit of an, on his hands tonight against Simon the Don Donnelly. Didn't he call himself the British Bulldog in the last fight he had? I think he did. And looking at Mark Charlesworth, he does look a bit familiar. He's fought quite recently. He's a keen fighter. Only had a couple of fights, jumping in quite recently as well so good on him for jumping back in and again we'll see how he goes tonight and in this corner there we see Dave, David Light who's uh, the co-main of being here one of the pros and if anyone was watching recently David Light former Olympian fought on his first pro fight two weeks ago on Sky TV putting down Louis K9 Tio what a fight that was what a fight The Don is an electrician, just like the MC said, are the sparks going to fly from Donnelly's brother? Both brothers here tonight fighting on the same card. Mark Charlesworth, not too far off the age of the Don, a few years younger, same height, everything's relatively um, identical. It's just going to come down to who wants it more, who's got the grit, and who wants to take the win home. The it's Don or the British Bulldog? It's going to be typical uh, grudge match between the two nations here, with the English and the Irish, bit of bad blood between the two. Uh, I'd suspect. And uh, you can see Charles Worth holding up the right. He's almost, well, I wouldn't say maybe the guard, but he needs to keep that right tighter and maybe the left a little bit higher because the Donnelly is going to come through. But Charles Worth finding a bit of a home for that jab, looking quite composed. Yeah, attempting that little Philly Shell style. Where's, exactly. Um, yeah, we see Simon Donnelly here more, I guess, that, that, that classic, um, classic box Irish style. style. Yeah. Two hands the up. Gypsy Irish hybrid. I don't know what they call it. And you've got to be quite comfortable to be able to hold a guard like that. You know, one guard up, the other down. And obviously he's not sensing too much danger here from the Don yet. However, things may change. And if he keeps holding that guard, he might be in a little bit of trouble later on in round show. Absolutely. Well, you know, coaches always say, you know, keep hands up. There you go. Just there you had it. 
keeping that left hand low, and he just caught one on the chin. And don't underestimate the Don, because he's wanting to do probably his Irish fans proud tonight and take home the, the W back to Sydney. Well, you got to have the sharp reflexes to have, you know, one hand up, one hand down. Oh, and both boys thrown down. Every single fight tonight has just been an absolute barn burner. And look at these guys. They hear the clapper, and it's almost like it ignited a flame in both. Exactly. Hey, when you got a when you got a close fight, you're gonna have to steal it right at the end of the round. Jerome Pampaloon and David Light in the corner of the Earth Charles. Obviously, he's what got some corner. great punching. Yep. There's some fighting experience just there in the blue corner. Pampaloon, one to watch. Uh, up and coming fighter here in Auckland, New Zealand. Absolutely. Very active. Usually fights at least eight times a year, which you know. Stone Age, it's very active, isn't it, Shane? Eight, eight fights a year. Still amateur, um, I believe. At I, this stage, yes. I think I think there's there's, there's there's quite standard for amateurs. I mean, I, I remember back when I used to fight amateurs, you know, 10, 12 fights a year is quite. Uh, but this quite is why you're champ, mate. NZ PBA Super Welterweight. You're setting the bar pretty high, and uh, geez, 12 fights a year? That's um, it's relatively busy. Maybe these guys do 12 fights a year in um, different scenarios on the bars and on the football field, right? Perhaps. You no, are round I mean, two. You know, you'd, you'd have like three or four fights in one weekend if you're at a championship. That's so. true. That is true. It's just like the eight-man, you know, you have three fights in one night. 100%. And uh, what a tournament that is in itself. Although, in saying tonight, every single fighter tonight is throwing down like they're in a, an eight-man and leaving Absolutely. nothing for the road home both these guys coming out strong the Don like you said holding that classic boxer style Ooh. with Charles Worth like you said Philly guard maybe the guard looking a little bit more experienced than the Don maybe that one fight does really make a difference eh? o opposed to zero Absolutely you know you just get you get the confidence to draw a bit of confidence from it you know you get a little bit more familiar with the ring with the crowd and just that alone you know it, it lets you focus a little bit more on um, the task at hands rather than hey I have to impress my, my peers my my fans my supporters oh, massive good. shots of Charles Worth by Charles Worth and I don't discredit what you say because they say a lot of the build up and as you know we both know obviously myself nowhere near as much experience as you but the mental build up oh Charles Worth just man those big he is shots. landing some absolute bombs hopefully the Don can hold up come through and finish strong He's still got that guard high. Well, it's taken him, you know, relatively well, but, you know, that, yeah, that's, that's definitely around going to um, Charles Worth. He's obviously got an, a lot of knowledge there from in his corner, and he, he's drawn from it. They've obviously seen um, spots where he can land or, or we can take advantage of, and it makes for a good third round. Well, the, well, this is where we're seeing, like you said, that zero opposed to maybe one or two fights can make an absolute crucial difference. The nerves, the build up, you know what you're up against. Whereas when you first when you're a first time fighter, you shit in bricks. You don't know what's going on. You are absolutely balls to the wall nervous. And and it does drain you. Absolutely. The adrenaline. Just just everything about the event, you know, and the nerves. And you don't realise it until you're actually in there how, you know, well, you know, you're here now. It, it, you know, you don't actually realise. You know, you can't. You can obviously see how nervous or how tense the guys get, but you never know until you know. Exactly, and you know, everything changes. Eh? Once you're under those bright lights, the the bell dings. It's either you or him, right? Kill or be killed. Exactly. Fight or flight. And we are now in the third and final. The Don holding a tight guard, still looking like he's in this game. Definitely, he's coming out looking. He's moving his head a lot more. He's and Charles was looking very confident coming forward. Well, after that last round, you know, he's, he's, he's got to be confident coming off that last round. And the Don, he's, he's looking better in this round. Um, the better of the two, he's landing the better shots, just as we say that. You know, the commentator's curse. Commentator's and he curse. turns his back. Just as you said that, he starts getting rocked. He's coming forward, though. Charles was certainly being the aggressor in most rounds. But he's still taking a little bit of punishment yeah, well, out of the Don. You were talking about the left hand being down. Now both hands are down. Swing. 
just as we say that, some massive shots there. Charles is putting the uh, elbow there on the jaw or throat of the Don. We don't want to throw any MMA moves in here tonight, but it almost seems inevitable. We saw a kick earlier on. And a knee. Obviously, the judges didn't pick up on that, but we certainly saw it up here. There's the clapper. A bit of a grapple there from the Don. And here it is. Comes down to this last 10 seconds. Who wants oh, it more? Oh, the, 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 the Brit or the Irish. The British Bulldog and the Don. What a finish. Hey, no kicks or knees or headlocks that round, but what a fight. What a fight. That's, there's got to be... Well, we're only up to the fourth fight. Yeah, and that, that's definitely... It's definitely building. Each, each fight is getting better and better, and... The crowd are right into it. Hey, there's my mate Chad. And don't forget the Don Simon Donnelly flew all the way from Sydney just to fight tonight. He actually leaves on Sunday, Monday if he makes that flight back, if he doesn't party too hard. And Mark Charles with the British Bulldog from Manchester, but now residing here in Auckland. So we're going to see now what the judges thought of that one as we go to the scorecards. Shirts off for the girls. Thanks very much. Thanks for so much as well. Well done, guys. Thank you guys.